Hi everybody, my though. name is Dr. Boris Farber. Sorry we started a little bit late. And uh, usually when we have a meeting, we have conference room uh, up on head. But since we have, we expect to have less people, right? The doctors mm -hmm. came, right? So we decided to make it here. It was convenient for our know, job location. So anyway, and we uh, had issue related to which is projector with this computer. Now everything is resolved and we can start. So uh, Dr. Fine, do you I could have turned the lights off then or Yes. You have questions, preliminary so any questions on this? You will have Actually, questions after my uh, presentation, quick. right? So well, well, I'm sorry. Um one second. So let me add a little bit to our small team here. <laughs> what do you expect so many people? It's okay. <laughs> it's great. It's always you're adding more. I mean, for today at least. We usually, so I'm, I'm Dr. Klein. I am a physician working as a, you know, doctor's uh, general practitioner. And this is the practice we uh, have, you know, science, research, medical, and so on. All the related to health and science. And saying that, we uh, would like to just, we're going to have a brief presentation for each uh, scientific models that we have. You could take some notes or interested uh, facts. It's not going to be so detailed, it's going to be short because we have, don't have much time, but, but we have so many projects <laughs> going on. And same time, the good news, you can look at uh, what we're doing today, you can look at it again. And the option will be you're going to put on YouTube. We're going to send you links. So you want to just look through the presentation one more time. And any interested project that you feel you would like to be participated in, then you're just going to send us email that we'd like to be participate. There's not the limits who would like to be same project to people to you for the project. Oh, really? Shouldn't it, right? So we, um, and then as we, you know, going to, uh, rehearsal for the project. We're going to be uh, which project will be uh, picked up by students or or upcoming physicians here. So then we will decide next steps. All will be by emails, and we're going to going to have in future Zoom meetings as well if you need necessary for certain projects or just for discussion um, steps. What do we do? I guess today just mainly just introductory part, just to know. What are we doing? Then we're going to introduce each other, you know, to the um, uh, to the people here, and I guess that's the whole idea, right? Absolutely. So, Dr. Farber is going to present. Um, let me see. Works. Dr. Farber is going to present uh, his part, and I have another. Mm -hmm. You need to point it out. Our team, together with Dr. Uh, Klein, and we have. A uh, few corporations, all of them research and development, and plus this medical, right? You guys can see well there? And mm -hmm. uh, how to, you will switch to the beginning, right? Yes, so sure. I'll tell you. So it would be very briefly, because uh, I introduced myself. <coughs> I have been working in education for many years, 47 years in education field. And uh, have different majors, different fields. And this measure we use to um, implement our projects in bioengineering, in nanotechnology, biotechnology, medical drug design, use a special philosophy. Name of this philosophy is TRIS. It's T-R-I-Z, TRIS. It's an uh, abbreviation of uh, Russian abbreviation. If you look out here, this is theory of inventing problem solving. This is part of, yeah, I'll show this here as well. This is part of cybernetics. And from now, nowadays, is the most powerful approach to solve any problem in, the, in different fields. Problem. Different fields. And we're strong in solving problems in different fields because behind the scene, as a matter of fact, they look like different, but they have the same law of evolution, like people. 
they born, they develop, etc., grow up, die. It's the same like technical system, any system. So let's, Dr. Klein, let's start from the beginning. I switch. Oh, you yes. switch. Oh, you switch to your slides. Yes. More. Uh -huh. I see now. So this is small. Uh, this is big presentation, but I briefly mentioned just few fields in order you have uh, idea what we're doing, right? And this is trees in medicine. This is myself. I am trees master, right? Certified. Uh, great scientist Arthur Martino, uh, Dr. Ilya Klein, and uh, many people behind the scene you who are not with us right now. And there are corporations here. Now, Dr. Klein, next one. So, uh, many of you know our uh, education center, Harvard Center, right? For my students, where we teach, make you smart. The idea of this corporation was to create, uh, m to implement method of teaching and make uh, students smart. And the smartest students under our supervision, they get great education and best of the best work in our many corporations over the world. So I started here in the United States when I came from MIT. And after that, we developed this method over the world. So many, why I mentioned this site, uh, this, we don't have site for this corporation, but we have in this Facebook, you can see a lot of information, some information about our articles in AI, in bioengineering, etc. if you're interested after this, right? on this Facebook. Right. Okay. Next, Dr. Klein. So why uh, we decided to make this internship? After set of interview in different countries, for instance, <coughs> this is my interview, right, on, uh, in, on TV, uh, many people ask how to get to the best colleges. This was the idea. In nowadays, it's a little bit more difficult. And I made this interview. You can watch this interview on in Facebook, YouTube. Uh, why we did it? Because many people called. I don't have opportunity to, to answer the call, everybody. So we decided to make this presentation, and after that, explain that in order to get to nice colleges, top colleges, I believe of this. Uh, good score, GPA, etc., is not enough. You have to show strong extracurricular activities. And that's why I explain why we have this meeting today. Because you're asking, and better to explain one time to this. The next one. So what is trees? As I mentioned, it's theory of inventing problem solving. It's based on theory evolution, which the same for absolutely different system. Uh, and this Henry Hausschuller is a father of trees. He created this method, and now this method uh, for instance, all Samsung <coughs> works only by uh, only using trees. So they made progress based on trees. And many right now they teach trees in, uh, in, in Samsung worldwide. Next. Uh, next question. Why trees in medicine? This kind of job, but it's true. Today we are students and doctors, but tomorrow we are patients. We have to look forward, right? In this case, before we health. Okay, uh, so this, our company is only one company in the world which use uh, trees in pharmaceutical industry. Mm, only one, because nobody uses it. Next one. So how it started? In childhood, uh, my, one of my favorite was uh, books about Da Vinci. And I found his expression here, citation, that human food is a masterpiece of engineering and a real work of art. I was very surprised because everybody thinks that Mona Lisa is masterpiece, but he considered human food. I was so curious, and I decided to get nice education in different fields. Yes, Dr. Klein. Mm -hmm. And I get to postgraduate school to Center of the Institute of Prosthetic in Moscow, it's the biggest institute in the world in this domain. And this institute was created the first myoelectric hand in the world, and we sold license to all countries, United States, Japan, etc. This myoelectric hand so from us. Sorry? Europe too. Europe yeah, all, all countries, right? Practically. This is our institute. Next. 
For instance, this is my electric hands is the first we created there, and now you can see many company producing next them. Uh, when I got to Boston Graduate School, my goal was uh, to figure out <coughs> this puzzle about human food, right, at the beginning. But uh, when I studied this, uh, like from system position, like the trees, I figure out, I decided to figure out why people are losing their food. Why? What the reason of imputation? I was very surprised because about 82% was muscle disease. Not even accidents, not war. Bus, um, vessels. vessels. And, uh, let's take our next one. So again, my, my goal is kind of joke here, to, was uh, to study food, but uh, based on system approach, I figure out we have to move to a different level of amputation and try to avoid to do this amputation. So we have to develop medical drug in the same way. So that's why simultaneously I, I enter nine postgraduate school. And this nine postgraduate school I study from different perspectives, for medical drug position, for bioengineering, etc. Because food you can create without uh, intersection of a lot in different areas. So if you look at this, it's a little blurry, but uh, starting from, from foot, for instance, right? After that, we went to hip joints, knee joints, etc., etc. And this is super system, man. If you move this way, definitely supposed to do, uh, to study medical drugs to avoid this way of imputation. Okay. And trees in medicine actually feel very work in many years, represented by bioengineering, is prosthetics, orthotics, and uh, training devices, uh, lower limbs, upper limbs, orthotics, and drug design. Drug design is split by uh, two categories. Uh, generic, repurposing drugs, and this some of our project you'll see here, we will uh, explain this with Dr. Kuban. And the next is absolutely unusual kind of category is dynamic drugs. Uh, nobody in the world uh, use this terminology, nobody use dynamic drugs. Well, a few words, why we use dynamic drugs? What is dynamic? According to this theory of evolution, every system has some pattern of development. For instance, I give an example. Everybody has cell phone, right? Mm -hmm. And you can easily move this with the cell phone anywhere. A while ago, it was a landline connected to one room. That's it. So static system doesn't matter with what kind of system. Evolved to dynamic system. It's related to, let's say, aircraft. They have wing, and for military, wing change configuration. Everywhere. Even this chair, right, compared to regular, it changes configuration. This is dynamic. And we decided to create the dynamic <coughs> drug, drug to explain why. And definitely we work with diagnosis. So in order to, to do this part, we have to do this one. So many years ago, we studied BCMM, blood cell morphometric method, where based on um, geometry, math mathematics, right? Ratio, we had special program by uh, recognizing lymphocytes and studying geometry, uh, morphology actually, lymphocytes, uh, a major parameter of these lymphocytes, we can uh, answer for question about cancer. Even person does not have cancer, we could predict this. And this is BCM and blood cell morphometry, morphometry. Plus now we have another way of uh, Diagnostic for atherosclerosis, for cancer, based on different approach. So this is actually a big field we supposed to uh, actually work on this. And some of them we already have a great result. Okay. Uh, this is a very briefly. So behind the scene we have special method to decomposition of any of this subject. This is related to uh, artificial food like we did. But they use the same approach for any project we're doing here, right? We have to, in order to get the right function of this object. 
Next. We use a system operator which is very great to, for instance, this is food, right? You go to su uh, super system, globally. From here, super system. And man, it's like in computers, uh, we have in computer science, we have class and super class, similar inheritance, or in all the rest, you know, get real. And this object of, of, of operator, system operator, help you to go to past, from present into future. And uh, in addition, we have ideal final result. What's, what's supposed to be ideal? So based on the system, you know where to move. It's like a road map for you. And we use this road map for any devices, any project we use in medical field. Okay. So behind this scene, we have a lot of mathematics. All our proje project, one trees itself without deep science, does not work. I give one example of differential equation we use a lot. For instance, this is mathematical model of gate. You can recognize this is our trunk, this hip joint, knee joints, ankle joints, foot, right? Round reactions, angles, trunk angle. And we create, we use equation, differential equation, Lagrangian equation, somebody knows, right? You can read this article, it's one of the best magazine about uh, Biomechanics is uh, V8, this one. It's, you can find this on internet. And we studied this model, created equation many years ago, and published in our books all this. And we use this for robotics and for prosthetics. For instance, based on this model, we figure out for different level of amputation, what kind of prosthetics we have to create. Because, for instance, people try to do a prosthetic as uh, light as possible, right? But from another side, if I ask you, pretend you have very light stone, I ask you to throw far, you will not do this. Mm -hmm. You have to have optimal. And we name it balancing of prosthetics and, uh, and uh, robotics. Next one. So interrupting. Um, is, it, is it blurry or? Blurry. Okay, this one's trying to. Can I adjust it? Oh, much better. Better? Yeah, better? Yeah. 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 yeah, that's great. You don't have to touch it, right? Anything? <laughs> because <laughs> I can do the range of here, too. Oh, sure. Yeah? When you figure out the more people <laughs> came, instead of this screen, you decided well, we to decide to go for the bigger. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Trade off. You lost this time. Yeah. All right. Yes. Thank you. Next. Next. So, and this is a uh, complicated equation, difference equation. We use a special military uh, computer, very strong, because enough, and this computer was not enough memory to count on this. And based on this, we found different configuration for the phase. Next one. This kind of example of this system of differential equations. So that's why students who want to go in science in man, they're supposed to study calculus for sure, right? Somebody asked about it. Calculus must. Mm -hmm. Good, right? Okay? For medicine, right? For instance, how you can count energy cost of gate without this one? Okay, you may have electricity, you have this device, you see how much energy. But how you can, you have spirometry, but it's not accurate method. When you have functional of energy, you can easily make all this analysis for robotics and for any anthropomorphic systems. This one. Okay, I will not go in depth of this because it's just briefly. So, uh, next one, Dr. Klein. And we created tons of these patterns for this uh, artificial feed, the uh, producer of the world next. And now, as, as I mentioned, next level was knee. So I studied uh, knee, it has two faces, swing and stance face. So based on this uh, diagram, we created a set of knee uh, for people with above knee amputation. Next. The same we have system operator for knee, like we had for uh, foot. Next one, right? I will not go in there. We use, for instance, we use this very powerful Ishikawa, Ishikawa, sometimes the name, sometimes Ishikawa diagram to make analysis of all this stuff, right? Any project, we have to go reasons. And we provide functional analysis 
all this different. Yeah, I will not go in depth of this, okay? Just briefly mention, okay? And after that, we connected, uh, instead of trying one only, one only uh, foot, we uh, work on the entire system, which involved the main, uh, the main, uh, the biomechanical research and st streaming, math modeling, etc. So it's, uh, this approach helps you, if you go in depth, help you to optimize your uh, result on working on project. Dr. Fine, next one. And uh, we work a lot with scoliosis. Uh, we created a method, for instance, people who had prosthetics, all of them had prosthetic scoliosis. Why? Because in order to, uh, to move this leg easily, they make prosthetic a little bit shorter than in top uh, leg. If you make shorter, you have this prosthetic scoliosis. All of them suffer this, unfortunately. Next. Okay, I will skip it because we have a lot of stuff. We, sp we saw absolutely new approach, which was created genius, my friend, Professor Reshetov, for synthesis of a uh, new generation of any mechanism. If somebody interested in the work in mechanism, so practically nobody in the world do this method. What I did, I used uh, the best uh, unit made in Germany in 18th century, apply this one, and figure out that this, this unit is not supposed to work. It's not mechanism, it's static uh, undefined system. So based on this, I made this optimization and created this knee, and we name it uh, guide knee units without extra forces in uh, joints here. Next one. We created this unit in our lab, right? This one of our lab, right? This is how it looks like. Next. And uh, we use approach, I work for space many years. We use some idea for space, for instance, linear 12, how to avoid, for instance, they saw a very interesting problem. They're supposed to put extra 8 kilogram weight in this, uh, uh, in this Sputnik, how they name it. But every gram is important. How you can place eight kilograms when the project is finished? They took all this equipment and make it like a wall, right? So in this prosthetics, next one, I use the same approach. Now all this, what we have, weight of prosthetics is a load of weight for balancing. You don't put any extra weight for this. Next one. And this is optimization now in order to avoid scoliosis, we have special devices which make clearance between uh, between uh, foot and ground equals to zero. You're not supposed to make a uh, shorter leg in this case. And this is, we name it centroids of this, right? Next one. And this is the first model they produce, right? It, uh, of this guide knee mechanism, next. And this produced right now many years in a rocket space industry. Uh, and one of the best in the world, this unit, we use for uh, a long knee disarticulation, so different situations with kids. This one, I can show, I bring this, I brought this stuff, uh, I can show how it looks like. And this, you know, this company, Karolyov, right? If you know this name, right? Who created the first rockets. And Gagarin, maybe you know this name, maybe yes, maybe so, no. so this is your, so this is company who produce all this stuff right now. All this stuff, they have about 35 years already. Yes, next. This is different configuration. This get gold mo model in Brussels exhibition, World Brussels exhibition, all these units. Next. Okay, next. I will skip it. And this is, you know, you know Pelé? Somebody know this name, Pelé? The best, mm. like, uh, like right now, Leo Messi? No thing, then. Okay? Mm -hmm. This was number one in what, Pelé. And this mm -hmm. was number one in Black Mantel, Yashin. Number one for keeper in the world. And after that, remember, people losing uh, legs after muscle problems. And he lost legs. Vessels and circulation. Okay, this is him. 
Black Panther with Yasha. And uh, I made him this prosthetics, and he was happy, he used this one. And uh, so many people use it, right? thousands and thousands of the world. This one of example, the Russian. Maria, if you know this name, maybe not. Okay, next. Uh, this Tatiana Kuznetsova, she won World, car World Marathon in New York, 42 kilometers. Uh, above knee amputation, using this one devices. Okay, sometimes this, when you have knee, you prefer to run 42 kilometers, right? Yeah. This and this is especially. This is perfect, <laughs> right. This is next. Uh, this is new generation is with zero uh, zero uh, reaction here in the system. Next. I will, sl I will skip it. Look if I skip it, skip it. This one, uh, one more, a little bit back. Right. So we, I made experiment. Go back. Uh, no, no, next one. Next. Yes. Uh, one, I work in institute too late, and somebody knocked the door, I decided to open, I can't, because, you know, when you sit a lot in the one position, how to sit at the point? When your well, leg is numb, is numb, numb right? right. No. Yeah. When I walk to this door to open, I get idea. So, I have everything, right? right. I was master of uh, weightlifting in, in, in the wrestling, in this case. Right. But I hardly walk because of this. No feedback. Mm -hmm. Next day, I decided to make this uh, anesthesia, right? And compare how we work with prosthetics. Mm -hmm. Without feedback, it was almost the same pattern because you're not stable. Right. You're afraid to put your leg. And you see these photograms? Uh -huh. It's time over there. For instance, this is the end of how it looks like, right? Back to the nurses. It, everything is different. So you have everything, you have muscles, either, but you know, you can look. So after that, I published it in four volume books again. And this photogram, ground reactions, next one. And we decided to make, to make it uh, with feedback. This is, uh, you know, Father Pacini and Buddy, right? Water receptor, you started this, right? Butter. Water Pacini. Water Sensors. Sensor, receptors. sensor, vibra vibra receptors. Very important and many, not many people use it right now. And uh, especially in our uh, food, we have a lot of them. A lot. Why? Because it provides you feedback when you stay, uh, when you make a step. And this is connected with all ground reactions we have here. We need ankle, or this one, hip, etc. Next. So I decided to make this re these sensors in prosthetics in different level. You see this? This one, this one. Mm -hmm. And we patented the Samari cobalt magnets, okay, the vibrators. And uh, when you uh, have contact with ground, you get a signal, and the signal contacted your body, and you feel comfortable where you are. You know, prosthetic people who Lost their leg. They start moving better using the same prosthetics because but they have balance, confidence, balance, right? And this yeah. time frame in life. Next, uh, we study. After that, we study uh, impact of vibration on, on human body control. What we did here, okay, we figure out the, you know, the skin is the biggest organ in the body, right? Not vision, skin, but nobody uses it, right? Next. Okay, and uh, we created special uh, special shoes, and we decided to make person walk without walking, to have impression, to create image, to create image. And he is walking, but he is sitting. And uh, you will see in few minutes how we did it. And we use our the best medical uh, related to government uh, clinics. And people after strokes, after a heart attack, they some of them can't move. But to be yeah. horizontal like vegetable is not healthy. How you can move without moving? Use the shoes. Next one. And we use the shoes in a different space uh, shape. For instance, Salute 6, Apollo, together this project. They use it a lot. Why? Because they have no gravitation over there, right? In this case, we have to get feedback and we have to not forget the pattern of gait. Next. And keep the muscle tone. 
For instance, uh, you know how people uh, blind how they run during competition. Suppose somebody who, who, who can see the hell, they have the hell, right? And they walk together. But what we did, this is absolutely blind person. We put these sensors, right? In this case over there, in the party, right? Mm -hmm. And trainer, okay, uh, he had control. And when they move over there directly, right? They had signal to left and to right. It was work competition. And all team work uh, running without without help. It was like miracle in this case. But everybody knows they can see. Okay, good idea. Yes. N not only the, not only blind. Some of them were blind, deaf, and mute. Some of these people, and we teach them how to solve problems also using the signal. Right. Next. Scoliosis. So many people right now, especially in the United States, they use what uh, different orthotic devices, right? Cassettes, right? How you name? Mm -hmm. Support, and, support. And this is not good because in this case your muscle become even weaker. And uh, we created a method. If I had more time, I would explain this how it works. But we created a method. People think that if you bend it this way, you have to move you this way. But it's not the same. Not truth because we have you know three planes. This is sagittal plane, mm -hmm. right? Horizontal plane. Transversal plane, we name it, right? And frontal plane. Mm -hmm. But if you see how our muscles work, so if you change, you have bending in, uh, for instance, in a frontal plane, so you have to work with horizontal, the transversal plane. And you put special way of electrodes. And people who are supposed to go to surgery, I'm talking about kids, by special treatment, we make them straight. One by one, this <coughs> let's say uh, twelve uh, sessions. twelve sessions after that another, and they become smooth. like yes, this. Fine, it's fine becomes deep, be without any of this stuff. This is a person. Well, uh, so we created and patented and devices for this. This is another way scoliosis with a stimulation. This also skip this. This is an arthritis. We use also, you know, this compression or osteosynthesis when you use, when people drop legs, right? Mm -hmm. And we, this is fuzz of this, Elizar the breather, if you know this thing, right? So mm -hmm. I know him personally, and this is my patent. We created special devices which help you to fix this uh, compression with uh, mm -hmm. compression as osteosynthesis, we name it, right? If you put on the internet, is method using uh, 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 special surgery. In States. Yes, States. this is what he, yes. he lives in Kurgan right now. Right. Okay, next. This is how these devices we use, right? Osteosynthesis. Osteosynthesis. Great idea. Next one. Ah, back one. This is another way of back one. This one. This one you have problem with knee. For instance, surfaces is not good, right? In this case. And the patient has great pain. You make a, by special method of diffraction, you found axis and two devices. And these devices, if you see, have like mesh gear. It make, if you put it nicely, you can make distances between the surfaces and the person does not. With the joints. The, 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 the four joints, right. Next. Okay, we use different method. I will skip it because it's too much. Skip this, too much. This is new also. So this is just a second. This how you very difficult to find a center. You see center? It's not a bicycle wheel where you have one center. We have tons of centers, centroids. It was difficult to get center in the middle somehow. Mm -hmm. Or joint. Mm -hmm. This is joint, right? Mm -hmm. This is Context, knee joint. And this uh, spe special physical uh, effect using by diffraction. We use it like instantly. We have to customize for every person. You can't do this in the same place so. because every knee is different. So this mathematical model. Everywhere is is 3, 3D model. Okay, next. I will skip it. These diffractions. We created the first one, the word back one. Mm -hmm. uh, this is extremely interesting. This is devices of prosthetics which can change 
frequency parameter based on uh, phase of gate and we created training devices. Our muscles in nonlinear, if you make this Cartesian coordinates, it's not like a line. When you go to gym, you you're wasting time a lot because your muscle is nonlinear. Let's say ground goes like this. Right. And what you use, you use just weight which has the same the same weight, constant weight. And this one with feedback. When you use training device, this is a training device. Uh, when you decided to rest a little bit, system looking for EMG, electromyograms, and increased forces here, resistance. And this is magnetic liquid. It's liquid for future. Have you seen like a uh, fly goes on the, on, the, on the ceiling somehow? Why he is not falling down? This. He used uh, electro, uh, electro electrological liquid. When he put his one of these hypotheses, and if you put his leg, liquid which becomes not liquid anymore, They're like glue. After that, this fly, apply another potential, it become liquid. And this way they glue for automatically to the ceiling, you know, never follow this. This is similar what we have here, similar liquid, but not, not electrological, it's magnetological. It changes. If you put, usually when you, throw stone in liquid, it's sinking, right? Mm -hmm. But if I change magnetic field, if this stone will jump ahead, it's never thing because density increased tremendously depends on vector of magnetic field. Next. So this is hip also few Absolutely. next one. Hip. We created a new absolute devices for hip uh, amputation this level, right? Next, this also, okay. Next, a few words about this, uh, our system. So we finished with this part and we went to super system, last man. And if I may, uh, as I mentioned before, we supposed to think about diagnostic drugs and therapy. So that's why next one, Dr. Klein, uh, I just briefly tell everything and the, in more details will tell the apply to help for it. We have this is generic repurposing graph we have. And uh, for instance, one of big project is MDR. We made presentation in SMI with this project. What the problem? So this is no prosthetics anymore, this is medical drugs. So uh, you know this uh, bacteria more and more drug resistant right now. And antibiotics does not work, unfortunately. Dosage increasing, so it's more dangerous sometimes to a patient than to, in this case, what to do with this. Polymyxin protectors we have here, composition for stem cells for this one. Okay, uh, this is binary homostatic gamma, we name it. New approach to metformin, anti-TB right now, this one we have and uh, dynamic grounds. Dynamic grounds I will uh, classify in a few different directions. Anti-cancer, vaccine, antiviral, and oral insulin. For now we move, <coughs> and it's a little bit not updated information, we move far forward. Next one, Dr. Paul. So Isikawa diagram now for drugs, next one. System operator for this, I will skip all this stuff. Mm -hmm. Skip, skip, skip. But the job. Don't forget to take a handful for your complementary antibiotics on your way out, right? <laughs> this is idea. We don't want to. You don't want, right? Okay. Again, if as I mentioned, we have the same pattern. When you work with different systems, we must use what? Meth. And for medical drugs especially. I use uh, a very nice uh, equation, equation Volterra Vodka, uh, uh, Volterra Vodka, right? Two different people in different ways. So this is Vodka Volterra, this is uh, Volterra, okay? He created a differential equation when imagine you have an island and you have prey and uh, how you name it? some animals who would eat this prey. Mm -hmm. And they created, yes, predators. And he created this model, a little blue here, where based on differential equation, you can make different prediction of how they work. 
What is in common what we're doing here? We're talking about bacteria next to it. I'll tell you what. So this is, uh, now they use it for very nice article. These articles are used from 54, it's 54. It's old, but nice. They use differential equation here. It's a simplified version. For study, micro uh, micro how they work, right? Next. Okay. And everywhere we have, for instance, we, for our creation drug, we use uh, silica modeling a lot, right? For this one. Because with this, you, it's not a good when you put different substances and mix them together. You have to understand affinity of this stuff, how they work together. Few, just few examples next to the plan. This is our, uh, our, from our research, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Next, 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 mm -hmm. next. It's for polymixin. Oh, so everything, right, everything here. I, I skip it. It's from the no, it's more than here. Yes. <laughs> and this is, I like this cartoon, to survive rate of bacteria innovation faster than rate of new antibacterial drug development. This is time to find another non-traditional way to fight. Because it would be, well, it's stra straightforward, right? Mm -hmm. So this is faster, okay. more flexible, more, more dynamic. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Dr. And this I mentioned, dosage DDD, right, of this antibiotic usage, and how global uh, consumption of antibiotics are increasing. So this is a graph, you see, how it goes. Mm -hmm. They decided to do something. That's, that's, that's already garbage. Right. They did it. So we study uh, different sources, uh, growth of uh, this microbial uh, growth scope, right? And what is important next one, Dr. Pai. So it's uh, correlated with the differential equation. I will uh, notice one thing, I'll show this here. So look at this, this is brown, right? And this is, how do you name purple? Mm -hmm. Please, right. Purple. Right. So it's very similar to you have in trees, how system of life changing for in the beginning this number of bacteria is not big they and now exponentially. Uh, they grow exponentially right mm -hmm. okay Plato. this plata and now yeah. it is but we see if you compare to curve this one and toxin production uh, production right you see that in this when it grows and you don't use anti no antibiotics Practically no toxins, right? Yes or no? You see this one? So this we have idea. Next one, Dr. Pai. And this is standard approach when you have more and more antibiotics. And we decided to to how to say to make their life easier for this microgram, right? In this case. And we have here some enhancer which not only not kill this antibiotic, but help them to feel comfortable, relax, right? Next one. And this is in more details, in the same curve, especially on this, right? This one, next one. Okay, and this is uh, in details, different lives from Stage. previous stages, right? Next one, next one, next, 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 next one. This one. Okay, and we develop pharmaceutical composition here. Uh, from known drugs and how it works like next one next a lot of jokes here oh no concept we did upside down instead of killing we help them to survive this approach of trees one of this approach to do up, upside down and it's corresponded to, to theory of how to make fight Sun Tzu and Napoleon in this case read this to fight and concur in all battles in the supreme excellence. Supreme excellence consists in breaking the enemy resistance without fighting. No fighting. Don't give them this. Okay? Next. And this is in a petri dishes experiment. Oh, back, back. Mm -hmm. Okay. We see we name it zone of retardation. Pretend these are antibiotics, try different kind of antibiotics. And zone of retardation, right, on this petri dishes is uh, different. Depends how uh, how it works. In this case, antibiotic does not work. For instance, amicacin uh, amicacin or polymixin does not work. Mm -hmm. But we have this enhancer, 
right? Next, Dr. Klein. And we uh, study how you see finally zone of retentation increasing, increasing this one. So uh, without increasing dosage of these antibodies, because we have the cancer. Next one. And this is different passages of different uh, <coughs> different substances. Days. Have. Sorry. Different days passages. Different passages, different uh, different times. We have few passages, let's say six passages. And you, this is one of the approach. Next is project polymyxin and nephrotoxicity also. Problem if uh, polymyxin is uh, nephrotoxicity, right? In this case, we approach. Dr. Pine, next one. Next also. I need just to create it just with two feet, right? It's my what? Yeah, this is shorter because we have another one with the uh, yeah, tell Okay, few words. Stem cells. Many years ago, we filed a patent for stem cells, but it was traditional patent with some know-how, where you take uh, out of stem cells, you put in inductors, and after that, when you grow in inductors, you it was uh, more right, you inject it back. But uh, some country asked us to solve this problem. It was bottleneck was productivity because this inductor works uh, takes time to work, right? And you can't make so many uh, samples in this case. And uh, based on this, we created a uh, approach: the best inductor which does not exist, but function. Uh, implemented of this inductor. And what is inductor is our body. So we try to get more stem cells. We know when a person uh, just born, he has a lot of stem cells. After that, decreasing decreases. And we found substance which uh, we put on the skin, right? And your stem cells is like a catalysator, right? tremendously increase amount in this case. You go with blood to different organs. This is another approach, and we'll probably Dr. Klein explain in this presentation. This is the first stem cell my patent that I fire this without this, right? This one, next one. Okay, next. This one here, mm -hmm. it's because of I, I have a, I, yeah, this is approach of what we have. My, you time? You want to have a couple minutes break? Yeah. Yes? Or no? Like so, you fine? Yeah. Okay, okay. let me notice, and Dr. Klein goes in, in depth on different presentation. This we use for wounds and fresh ulcers. Next one. Okay, we get these patterns for this one. Okay. Okay. This is gamma. So we compare all gamma. What, for instance, cervix, etc., and it works uh, sometimes a few times faster, stopping blood bleeding. Especially, this is important in battlefield right now, right? After car accidents and different, right? And um, non invasive, not invasive, very difficult to, or sometimes very difficult to extract this stuff, right? But not in this case. This is another project uh, binary chemistry. What we compare was cells and weak clothes. This would be, it's not our product, right? We compare to this product. Okay, next one. Okay. It's different. It's different, right? Oh, static and uh, dynamic. About, uh, let's look back, 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 back. One second, so. So go yeah, here, here, here it is. Few words about uh, <coughs> about uh, dynamic structure. Dynamic. Imagine you have a key, right? If this is static, and this key goes to only to one lock. I make this analogy. Imagine you have like some people who teeth who who doing this teeth teeth, right? Yeah. They have tons of different uh, these different devices for and they can easily open any lock. This similar. We make analogy with this lock principle of classic drug with conservative structure. And for uh, this is skeleton key, a group of many similar molecules that open 
many locks. And uh, we created technology to implement this idea. Okay, fine. And uh, as I mentioned, if you study what is it in this slide, we have zone of uh, zone of uh, flexibility. Let me put this way, right? If you have static drag, it doesn't doesn't uh, change it a lot, right? Because it's static, configuration does not change. If you compare to, for instance, to uh, different microorganisms, this one, they definitely more flexible. You want to try to uh, try to get rid of this microorganism. They have resistance. They change configuration. They mutate. But our dynamic drugs zone of changeability even bigger than for this one. What are they doing so far? In future, they also become smart, right? But in this, uh, in 21st century, right? So this dynamic, they're more flexible than this one. Whatever they do, we already kill them. If they change configuration, you have to make like docking design, right? For configuration of uh, drug and receptors. They change configuration, static drugs does not work. And this one, we have different keys, let me use this analogy. Okay, they're very happy, does not work. In this case, another coming here and kill them. This is the idea briefly of uh, dynamic drugs, okay? So we have been working for dynamic drugs more than 20 years. In the beginning, it was only idea. Very, it was very difficult to, easy to make a picture, but difficult to implement this, right, in this case. Next one. Okay, uh, this, yeah, you, you can, this one is, for instance, we're talking about cancer cell, right? How they work. Okay. And briefly speaking, uh, next one, mm -hmm. Ziggler of these patents. And by the way, so, uh, let's see. By the way, in our Facebook, I mentioned in the beginning, right? We have a lot of links. For instance, this link you can click, and this is, uh, one of our artic articles with uh, Dr. Klein, Dr. Martino, creation of new medical drugs based on trees and uh, computer mathematical modeling. And you will see some fragment what I said. Go on Facebook and just click it. You can PDF, you can, well, about 3,000 people already downloaded this one. It's not a problem, right? This one. And we have tons of patents. My strong part is patents. I have more than, uh, 370 patents in different fields, right? And this every day, you know, we apply again 17 patents. Uh, we work day and night for this, and all of them based on novel devices. Next one. Okay, this is uh, antiviral. antiviral. Okay, work. You you put in which mode? No, no, oh. too fast. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's animation for this one. Work. Non a personal a person. Okay, does it work? Okay, this also antiviral, how you work with viruses in this case. Very interesting, it's animation and practically very great result is shown. And uh, remember this uh, diagram I showed at the beginning about uh, detection, diagnostic, diagnostic, right? It was BCMM plus mm -hmm. cell biometric method plus few more. And uh, together with uh, we study our pathology anatomist, they study a uh, combination of uh, different viruses in the body after death. And you get this idea, this, uh, this data, and we found in one specific combination of viruses, for instance, uh, Epstein Barr, right, in this case, and another, for instance, second modification in this. So, person has cancer. Some people with different combination of viruses, they had uh, atherosclerosis problem. So based on this, we create method of diagnostics, right, of this, next. Okay, and this is BCMM, I also skip it. This is basically based on ideas of uh, Dr. Gavala. I knew him personally, and he was head of the department of uh, Central Institute uh, of uh, Pharmatology biggest institute in this domain. 
and he created this map. This is his book. You can find this on Amazon. The next one, and uh, this the file pattern of this DCI map. Next, next. I want to skip at this. Mm -hmm. And this is diagnostic when I mentioned different kind of uh, combination. And the next one. And uh, this is a Genevieve uh, Schuller, my teacher. We together with him, right, in different ways. This is a part of our team. This is his most uh, famous mm -hmm. book, Creativity is Exact Science. It's published in, first of all, this one. In Russian, and uh, after that, created all languages can, uh, translated. All the world, translated, right? This he wrote all the, he always sent all these books next. And uh, this is his book, Creativity is Exercise. Pretty expensive, right now. It's a more noble. Okay, <laughs> it's from today. Okay. And today, price. And some of the inventor here, how to be geniuses. Students, keep in mind, this is nice, right? Asura and me, good idea to read it, right? Creativity is exercise, this is backside of this, right? I show how they look like these books. Okay, I brought this couple of books. And, um... You can touch it. Sorry? Touch it. They are real touch it books. <laughs> This is creativity is exercise. Even creativity is exercise. I'm not talking about math, right? This book. And uh, my suggestion, you must read this book. Book must, right? Sometimes not easy. This is getting so sugar. This we together. And this is one. And what is good thing, or oh, this one, it has translation and suddenly inventor appeared. This one. It was, first of all, it's published in Russian, right? Oh, it's in Russian. Okay, but uh, I have all of them, but the translated. It's a thousand of books. Also, all books he published, he always make with uh, this, with uh, contacted from childhood, I work with him. And good thing for you, guess what? All of you will get these books today, for free. If you brought, if I, uh, if you read my uh, email, Olga sent for you. Uh, if you brought what? Uh, flip drive, right? So after this presentation, because it takes a lot of memory in drives, right? Yeah. You have memory stick, flip drive, right? You get all these four books, or how many, whatever. Even how to be a genius. And unfortunately, it's not translated. Yet. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Google what you explain. Google explain. What is next? I like this one. Whatever comes out of this gate, we'll have a better chance of surviving if we work together. This Russell Crowe will get it. This my idea. Combine together for effort and create new projects, right? Good. Next one. Optimistic vision of future. <laughs> okay. And next one. Sorry, no one had any questions after your presentation. This my job. <laughs> 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 okay, next of the finance for you. Mm -hmm. And now this is part which Dr. Klein will uh, go over. To, right? If you don't mind, yeah, it's break, it's all break. Yeah, if you have question us, please. Oh, one more thing before you yeah. uh, finish. I brought one of this uh, rocket space oh, yeah. industry uh, device. Oh, okay. Remember those devices mm -hmm. on the... Yeah, yeah. It looks simple, but create easy stuff much more complicated. And this is, uh, right now, it's number one in the world. And this is knee joint. You can combine this one. You can do this. It's both knee, right? Mm -hmm. This one. Or oh, this one. It's moving. Yes. And goes here, legs. Okay. Titanium. There's more than, more than technology. That's the metal you chose for the weight, and that's what you balance. Absolutely. The so all this produces top level space. of technology. Okay. Like this piston, you see this one? Mm -hmm. It's absolutely precision devices in this case, right? It doesn't wear it the the titanium. titanium. Sorry, I did not bring all of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good, good, good. Do so you have any questions? Up. Ask. 
If you don't have question, I'll tell you how I see this after presentation. After presentation, we make it in uh, after Docker client. Okay, also explain. And uh, what we planning to do? We play this presentation on YouTube in order you can see the event, all this stuff. And since a lot of different uh, different directions here, I choose directly you like. So you don't expect nothing personal. Don't expect back. Uh, huge feedback from you right now because actually in our team work only PhDs even no masters right now because you have to be professional in this field but this uh, this meeting was done not for us for you because if I mention in this does matter your doctor or not you have to be distinguished somehow if you apply to different level right and you say, well, I graduated from this. Many people graduated from this. I, from school, I was volunteering in a uh, like Brooklyn library. Everybody was in Brooklyn library, right? <laughs> it does not work right now. You have to be, and this absolutely different approach. So how it works? Uh, you can choose um, direction from this one. Especially very important to listen carefully to Dr. Klein, the, uh, have a lot of updated stuff related to medical drugs right now, right? Mm -hmm. And um, another there, and after that, under our supervision, we will give you what how to make research in this research on internet. You can go in the lab right now, right? License from the beginning, you have to start from here. So we make this research for yourself. We name it uh, if in Russian, analytic absorb. Research in some particular field. Mm -hmm. And you have to be ready that you understand this topic, right? When we, uh, when you successfully finish everything and you get from us, you will get recommendation from us, right? The real recommendation. But in this case, we have to, some not obligation, how to say, uh, you have to, if you have interview somewhere and they ask you about you can get, have a letter and have no idea what you did. You have to be professional in this field about what is going on in this field, right? In a sense, it's one thing. Second of all, if you're talking about my students, to get nice reference, you have to have nice, nice success in your schools. Because, for instance, you hardly study, your GPA is 2.7, I'm just kidding, right? <laughs> I can make your reference in this case. So, but what to do? Some of you not in 12th grade, I'm talking my students, right? Not in 12th grade. You have a chance, it's like rain check, right? You get this, you go on this topic, sometimes it changes your life. Thousands of my students, they change life. They're now doctors, they top of uh, different companies in this case, right? But in this particular case, you have a chance to couple years to improve your result in school. In order, because you need this for school, you need in 12th grade, right? In 12th grade, when you get all this stuff and you be ready for this one, you will get nice reference, regardless of where you are right now. For instance, you low level right now. It happens, it's like. But finally, before this, you have to get nice result. Plus, we have some real project. Many projects, I can give you a couple examples for students who did our supervision this many times. So many of, in many of these projects participated students in different countries, right? You can find some of them in, uh, in our Facebook, for instance. Plus, we have for IT technologies, for instance, you can implement your knowledge in creating uh, some real, for instance, my corporation does not have site at all, Parker's Academy. I don't need this. So many people that we, we don't need site on the website. And website because we have no room for this, right? But we have different. For instance, we have a vice president of uh, European Academy of uh, Science in Germany. In this academy, together with American Academy, they have no site. You can welcome and participate in web design decisions could be real web design and you get reference and you can show this real web design, real, how to say, real product, right? right? Also think about this. So we have a lot of 
If you have some ideas how to participate, welcome. Give us feedback. Do you have any? And this relates also for doctors. Welcome. Choose any direction you like from here. Or if you have some, let me put like in cybernetics, black box. Something else I did not mention, but it is interesting. You can share with this. Um, if you any ideas you have. If you have, if you want to work in this field and this perspective, work. Why not? Right? Dr. Pai, what do you think? It's really a good point. Open questions. Absolutely. But first of all, we are, we are experts in these fields. And this you know for sure. Okay? Because all of them have patents for many countries, right? India, Israel, Canada, this United States, or Eurasia, Europe, Eurasia, Eurasia, tons of them. No questions. Mm -hmm. You see, remember my slide? <laughs> <laughs> no. Stretch up, stretch up. <laughs> stretch, stretch. Okay. No, the second. Otherwise